we have been learning about when a vowel is followed by R, it changes the sound of the vowel. It's not the same short O or long O sound. And when we see OR, one of the sounds that it can make is OR. And we've been practicing writing words and making words with OR, and today we're going to practice reading words. So when I come across a word that has OR in it, I'm going to say it slowly and read it as OR. This is our first sentence, the blank. I'm not sure what this word is, but I see or, O-R. So I'm going to say it slowly, reading that as or, k, orn. The corn will grow in the garden. My shirt was, and I'm not sure what this word is. So I'm going to see, I'm going to look for parts, and I see O-R, or, t, orn, torn, by the, oh, I'm going to look for parts, and I see O-R again, th, orn, thorn. Let me reread that to make sure that it makes sense. My shirt was torn by the thorn. So I looked for parts to help me figure out torn and thorn. Here's my next sentence. Hunter was b orn, born. So I see O-R and I read it as orn. Hunter was born in June. A blank. Hmm, I'm not sure what this word is, so I'm going to look for parts to help me figure it out. I see S-T, st. And then I see O-R, or, the stork, excuse me, a stork is a type of bird. So I'm looking for parts, and when I see O-R, I'm going to read it as or. Let's do one more. I will toot my own, hmm, let me look for parts again. Oh, I see O-R, or. Horn in the parade. I will toot my own horn in the parade. <clears throat> so what I did as a reader today was I looked for parts to help me read the words and I also said them slowly. And those are two things that you can do as a reader when you come to a word you don't know. Now you're going to be rereading these sentences and also reading some more on your own in the PowerPoint next to this task. Thank you.